Hello, I am Seamus Dunahoo of EVE University, and this is episode 10 of How to Survive EVE Online. Let's take on the next step of the industry chain. So, right click Hoover Nair, start conversation. And what he wants us to do, he wants us to obtain more tritanium. Uh, in this case, he again wants us to mine Veldspar at a particular location provided by the mission, but he also wants us to destroy some rogue drones while we're there. So, let's click Accept, and let's close the Ancient Conversation window. Now, we were given a unit of Navitas Galente Frigate, so we're going to switch into this. First of all, let's open the fitting window. While our Velator class Galente rookie ship has served us well, it's really only good for running tutorial missions and for when you need a really cheap frigate, and frigates don't get much cheaper than free. But we need to move up into a better ship. So, click the strip button at the top of the fitting window. Strip ship. And let's let's right click Navitas. Assemble ship. Let's see if I can just click and drag this to the background to switch ships. No, that doesn't work anymore. Can I drag this here? No, that cannot be done. All right, right click the ship and select make active. And the game will talk to you about ensuring your ship. Uh, let's get this out of the way. I'll talk to you more about insurance later on. We don't really need it here. So, we're going to need a weapon, so drag in your Light Electron Blaster, drag in your Mining Module, your Small Armor Repair, your Expanded Cargo Hold, which you were awarded in a previous mission. Oh, Hull Upgrades. We're missing Hull Upgrades. You know what? That reminds me. There's some skills that you should get which the game does not provide for you. So let's go to the market, first of all. Type in Hull Upgrades, push Return, left-click Hull Upgrades, and you are looking for the cheapest one in Station. Right-click on it, buy this, and just buy one copy. If you buy any other entry where the number of jumps doesn't say Station, you're going to have to travel to that Station to pick it up. Very important point. Right-click Hull Upgrades, let's train this now to level 1. And as, yes, let's switch skill training. As long as we are at it, let's also get targeting. Eee, there's a lot of things with the word targeting in it, but you're looking for the entry that only says targeting. Starts with a T, it's only targeting. You'll know you have the right item if this looks like a book. Skills, electronics, targeting. Uh, let's see, what's my wallet looking like? Uh, 400,000 isk. Should be okay. So get targeting, click buy, uh, after burners, make it plural, no, that doesn't work, make it singular, there we go, the afterburner skill, again, make sure this looks like a book, uh, buy the cheapest item in station, click buy, three more and I will stop for the moment, energy, grid, Upgrades, left click, right click, buy one copy and station, energy, systems operation, left click, right click, click buy, and finally energy management, push return, left click, right-click, and click Buy. In each case, I'm just buying the cheapest uh, ver the cheapest copy in the station. Those should be useful for pretty much any player, and I don't believe the game provides you with any of those skill books. Uh, let's check the wallet again. Considerably drained, but that's okay. These, you're going to need these skills later on. So, Left click the first skill book, shift left click the last skill book, right click and inject skill 5. You want to inject all 5 of them. Go to the character sheet, 
open the skill queue. Let's open up mechanic. We are going to need hull upgrades. Oh, hull upgrades level 1 is already being trained. Um, let's see, what else did we have in here? Let's get energy grid upgrades. Oh, also open up electronics. Targeting. Right now you can only target lock two things at a time, and right now your skills are limiting you. So, your ship is probably going to be capable of handling more if you've got the skills for it. So let's bring targeting it, targeting a couple of levels, energy grid upgrades a couple of levels, and you know what, while we're at it, everything else a couple of levels, and click apply, and I'm not going to worry about this any further. Feel free to pause the video here if you need to take a look at this. But I'm going to close this now. Uh, I'm going to right-click my ship, change the name to Navitas, so that the ship doesn't have my name in it. Let's drag some antimatter charges to the fitting window and load our weapon. And just to be on the safe side, right-click your ship, open cargo hold, and put in the antimatter charges. And let's move this over here. Now we close everything. And now we undock. So we've got weapons, we've got ammunition in the weapon, we've got extra ammunition in the cargo hold in case we need it. It may not be clear why I had you get all those extra skills, but those skills will be useful to you, uh, especially by, before the end of the series. So, right click empty space, making mountain of molehills, encounter dead space, warped location. Warp drive active. Alright, you first notice the hostiles, so control left click both of them. Uh, you also notice the rocks over there, so let's just double click in that general direction because we may need to get closer. Now these hostiles are rogue drones, artificial intelligences that got loose and they are wreaking havoc pretty much all over the place. They are a threat to space travelers everywhere. They are. You may have noticed the little square corners, they appeared yellow at first, that means they got a target lock, and then they turned red, meaning that they're doing something hostile. Let's hit control spacebar, I think we're close enough to the rocks. Remember, F1 will activate your weapons. Now with the threat dealt with, we can target lock one of the asteroids, and hit F2 to turn on the mining laser. F1 activates the first high slot module, F2 activates the second high slot module. Now you may have noticed that this ship has more slots uh, for attaching modules. That means you can attach more modules to it. Uh, another thing to know about fitting issues, besides the number of slots that you have, there are different kinds of slots. High power, medium power, low power. Uh, certain modules can only be fit to one of those three kinds of slots. High power modules in high slots only, low power in low slots only, mid power modules in mid slots only. You cannot change these. Uh, additionally, your ship has a limited amount of power grid measured in megawatts and central processing unit measured in teraflops. And every module has a certain requirement. If you go show, if you show info on the module and you go to the fitting tab, you can see the CPU usage in teraflops and the power grid usage in megawatts. Mining lasers tend to take a lot of CPU, whereas weapons tend to take 
uh, a balance of the two. Heavier weapons tend to take up a lot of power grid, especially on the cruiser and battleship size versions. Uh, additionally, you have a certain number of hard points for missile launchers or for turrets. You don't see any uh, highlighted boxes here because there are no empty turret hard points. Your mining laser is taking up one turret hard point, your weapon is taking up the other turret hard point. So there, no, there are no more turret hard points available. If I were to remove these things from my ship, you would see two light boxes here indicating that those two turret hard points are now available. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me read the details on this mission. He wants 7,000 units of tritanium. Uh, we should be able to get that from the amount of Veldspar we've mined so far. I'm going to stop talking, turn off the mining laser, let's go back to the default mining tab, left click the station, and dock. Warp drive active. Oh, I should have hit control R earlier to reload weapons. You can also right click a module and select reload or reload all. Or even to change ammunition types if you've got different types of ammunition. Antimatter charges are the most powerful uh, ammunition that your weapon can use, but they reduce the optimal range. Lead is a range neutral ammunition, iron is the longest range, but also the weakest. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. All right, we are back in station. We are going to drag the Veldspar to the station's hangar, right-click and select Refine. Uh, this is not going to be enough, unfortunately. We need a little bit more Tritanium. Uh, so I am going to stop the episode here and go do more mining. You know how to do that yourself. So in the meantime, thank you for watching, and in the next episode, we will take on the first step of the business chain. Yes, we will be switching chains.